Okay, so looks like we're doing long division this week. Yes. So um, we need to talk about, you know, kind of how we want to teach that and what kind of activities we want to do. So any ideas? I'm just really having trouble focusing. I'm so hungry. Too. I am too. It's chocolate is not going to cut it and it's not going to cut it. I mean, it's at least something. So you, know what I, lunch. you know what I want? What? 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 Oh, a cheeseburger? So oh, that right sounds now. so good. Oh. Where like, can we get a cheeseburger? Arby's? I don't know. I love cheeseburger. Don't they have cheeseburgers? Locatelli's. Oh. Pizza? Panera. Don't they have cheeseburgers? They don't make cheeseburgers. <laughs> What's that Chinese restaurant? Do you think they have cheeseburgers? Bobo Garden. <laughs> Bobo Garden. Oh, I'm sure they have cheeseburgers. Is that like Bobo Tea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think any of those places have cheeseburgers. What about McDonald's? Don't they sell cheeseburgers? Do they sell like McDonald's? Does, does McDonald's? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? I have no I'm idea. I'm not sure. We have to go there and find out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, I hope they have cheeseburgers here. I'm starving. Oh, so raving. So hungry. I can't tell. I can't see the menu. I see chicken. Oh yeah. man. Uh, what if shakes. they just have burgers with no cheese? Let's have a cheeseburger. Uh, then we'll have to go to H-E-B and get cheese. Cheeseburger. And nuggets. Oh, it's our turn. Ooh, fries. Oh. Ooh. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Do we sell cheeseburgers? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, good. Can I get one cheeseburger, please? That's it. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Can I get a milkshake? <laughs> Burgers good here. Are they good? Thank you. I can't wait to share this cheeseburger. I, I hope it's really <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you. Ah, yes. Yes. Can't wait to eat it. That cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers. McDonald's sells cheeseburgers. All right, so we're going to review first how to divide whole numbers like you did in fourth grade. Um, you might remember the steps from the McDonald's that we went to. Does McDonald's sells cheeseburgers? That should remind you. The steps divide, multiply, subtract, compare, and bring down. All right, so we'll start with our divisor and the first digit farthest to the left in our dividend. So can I divide three into two? No, because my dividend is smaller than my divisor. So I can put a zero or just leave it blank. And now look at this two digit number. Can I put three into 23? Question is how many times? So I can think of my multiples of three keep counting up or think of what multiplication fact of three do you know that is close to but still less than 23. So I know three times eight is 24. That's bigger than 23. I'll scoot back one to three times seven. So that's my division. My ne next step is gonna be to multiply. So seven times my divisor three equals 21. Now subtract 23 minus 21 equals two. Then my compare, this is gonna save me some trouble later if I do it along the way. When I subtracted, did I get a number that is less than my divisor? Yes, if I didn't, I know I've done this part wrong, so I can go back and correct my mistake now. Next up is bring down. So bring the six down. Now I've got 26. I can start over with my steps until I run out of things to bring down. So now 26 divided by three. I can think of three times eight is 24. 3 times 9 is 27, that's too big, so stick with 3 times 8. Now multiply again, 8 times 3 is 24. Subtract, 26 minus 24 is 2. Compare, is that 2 less than my divisor 3? Yes. And then bring down my 7. 
Start again. 27 divided by 3. I know something that equals exactly 27 divided by 3. That's 9. Multiply. 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract. 27 minus 27 is 0. Compare. Yes, that's less than my divisor 3. And there's nothing left to bring down. So my answer then is 2,367 divided by 3 is 789. Uh, sometimes you are going to have things left over, that's your remainder, and we'll spend some time in class talking about what to do with that remainder. Um, some of these you are going to get will have more than one, uh, more than a one digit number as a divisor. So let's look at one of those. Let's look at 4,471 divided by 17. We're going to follow the same exact steps. It just makes it a little bit harder to get through because I don't know my multiples of 17. Um, so what I like to do is choose something close to 17, like 20, or sometimes you're close to a compatible number like 25. In this case, I think 20 is going to be my best bet. I can estimate how many times 17 is going to go into 44 by thinking, well, how many times could I put 20 into 44? I could put it in two times. So I'm going to try that. Since I think I can put 20 into 44 two times, I bet 17 can go in about two times. So let's do 2 times 17. You may need to do your math over to the side, and that's fine. Um, I know that, it, that, that that equals 34. Oops, that was supposed to be blue. Okay. Then I subtract. And I'm left with 10. This is where that compare step is really important. I can check to see if my division was right by is my remainder here less than my divisor. 10 is less than 17, so I know that I did that correctly. Um, then we bring down and start again. So now I've got 107. I definitely don't know how to skip count by 17 all the way up to 107, but I could estimate with 20. I know that I could do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, five times. So I'm betting it's probably somewhere near five. Let's try that. And then over to the side, maybe I don't know 17 times 5 off the top of my head. Go over to the side. And I get 85. Hmm. Do I think that 85 is going to leave me with something less than 17? You can do your subtraction over to the side. Check it. Make sure that your remainder is less than 17. It's not. I would have 22 left over. That means that I can put 17 into 107 one more time. So let's try 6. 17 times 6 gives me 102. That's definitely very close to 107. I'm going to go with that. So 17 times 6, 102. I can subtract. I'm left with 5, definitely less than 17. And bring down my last number. So I do it one more time. How many times do I think I can put 17 into 51? How many times can I put 20 into 51? 20, 40, 60 would be too much. So I know my answer to 17 times 2 is 34. Let's check and see if that would leave me with too much or just enough. Hmm, that leaves me with exactly 17. That means I could put it in one more time since that's not less than 17. So we'll do 3 this time. So 17 times 3 is exactly 51. Subtract and end up with my remainder of 0. OK, over on your left side, you're going to have two problems, one to try like you did in fourth grade with a single digit divisor, and one to try with a double digit divisor. Remember, you, I don't expect you to know how to skip count by 28, so start by estimating how many times can I fit 30 into each of those numbers, and that'll give you, that'll at least get you close. Open Gangnam Star.